This is the Russian tour Bluebird. 50 ski jumping ladies from 12 countries gathered in Russia to participate in the final stages of the World Cup. For the first time in history, ladies have their own tournament. Yes, there was a feeling that finally there is no discrimination and we are a separate sport, women's ski jumping. We began to communicate with our foreign colleagues. We told them that we had that idea to host such competitions here. And you know, it was taken up quickly. First of all, they like to be here in Russia. The Russian tour Blue Bird has four competitive stages, two in Nizhny Tagil and two in Tchaikovsky. And in between, a bright event, the gala night at Perm Opera and Ballet Theatre. FIS race director Walter Hofer offered the Russian organizers to hold the finals of the Ladies Ski Jumping World Cup. A huge advertising campaign started a month before the Russian tour. The presentation of the main trophies of the World Cup, the Crystal Globe and the Nations Cup has held in Perm at the Sport Palace Molot. A few days before the presentation, Perm Basketball Club Parma won the Russian Cup for the second time and the pre-game show started with congratulations. We are ladies ski jumping team Russia. Congratulations to the Parma Basketball Club on winning the Russian Cup. We welcome all basketball fans to the final stages of the ski jumping World Cup. The main idea of the Russian Tour Bluebird Trophy roots from the old times. The image of this bird originates from the Permian animal style, ancient culture when people sought to be closer to gods in order to obtain higher knowledge. It's not just a bird, it's a birdman, the chosen. The second component of the Russian Trophy is much more modern. A trophy at any competitions reflects the peculiarity of the place where the competitions are held. We could not pass by the fact that here in Perm welding was born. To create such a trophy, the welder must fill the drop. It's a long, meticulous work. Probably equally long to the way of an athlete to a podium. One of the partners of the Blue Bowl Tour is a Russian social network VK.com. Every day about a million views watch their live broadcasts. One of the most famous Russian TV presenters, Ota Mamuchashvili, covered the competition. Dear friends, we are in a special room where no one is usually allowed. He is a special person who knows how to talk about sports much better than many others. Meet Otama Muchashvili. Tell us please, what is better, women's ski jumping or Juventus? Well, at this very moment, women's ski jumping looks better and the weather is beautiful. It's a great day and I look forward to the start of the competitions. The top five in the first competition round are coming. Welcome Nika Kruznar, the best from the team Slovenia. Another media partner of the final stages of Ski Jumping World Cup is a Russian telecom provider Dot.ru. Thanks to our fruitful cooperation, thousands of our viewers in 56 cities of Russia were able to see live broadcast of world-class competitions. In general, such great international events are very important for Perm and our region. And of course, credit goes to the local Ski Jumping Federation for the increasing number of such events every year. 
After the stages in Nizhny Tagil, the Russian railways train took the participants of the Russian tour to Pam within a few hours. It is a wonderful idea to travel from Tagil to Perm by this train. Not by bus, not by a flight charter, but by train. No hurry, no rush. You spend the time looking out of the window, looking at the nature that we have here in Russia. Girls, bon appétit. Do you like this travel by Russian railway? It seems fun and in such a cool company. That's great. <laughs> Of course, I remember uh, the, the competitions, but uh, also the ballet in, uh, in Palm was uh, something I will never forget. Besides all the ski jumping, you also re remember something else, and I think that was uh, great. The night at Perm Opera and Ballet Theatre was conceived as one of the key events of Russian tour. I think they liked this role, to walk on the red carpet when there are many cameras around them, when gentlemen are so gallant. Maybe the ladies were pleasantly surprised by the men's looks. Many noted the moment when the girls were stepping out of the car, especially the girls themselves. They didn't know that they would be met by men in military uniform. It was such a surprise. Ladies told me that it was so nice. You go out from the car, they give you a hand, you're all wow. We show that there are no borders between art and sport. The idea that athletes and classical culture are just different poles is an artificial construct in the mind. Why do they call us physical culture? Yes, that is sports culture. Yes, the most important word here is culture. Sport and art are both emotional, energetic, able to brighten our lives. Both sport and culture. The photos of the ladies in the evening dresses scored thousands of comments on social networks around the world and turned into internet memes. The day after the magical night at the theater, the participants of the Russian tour Bluebird visited Perm State Art Gallery. The opening ceremony of the stages in Tchaikovsky also referenced the spectators to the images of the Permian animal style. The moose man, the bird man and the theme music of the Russian tour came into being thanks to the famous Perm ethnic festival Kamva. The final stages of the ladies woke up in Tchaikovsky were combined with the final stages of the men's ski jump in Continental Cup. For the first time the Snezhenka venue loudspeakers performed the national anthem of Poland. After the Blue Bird tour, we had a meeting with Pavel Kolopkov, Minister of Sports of Russia, and discussed the partnership between the state and private capital in the framework of the big competitions. We welcome companies and individuals 
who are ready to invest their funds either in the form of donations or sponsorship. We would like to see more of such kind of symbiosis between the state and private money during the events. The quality of competitions benefits from such partnership. We support such companies as Russian Railways and Gazprom, which held in running competitions and thus take them to a whole new level. Gazprom is one of the world's largest energy companies. This means its participation in public activities, in public life, in the sports life of the world community is predetermined by its status. It is only natural that we as a subsidiary participate in the sports and social life of the region of presence. Of course, we are very happy that this was the first time we managed to do it. We hope that we will be able to attract the attention of the sports world to the region and Chikovsky. We have the Snezhinka sporting facilities. The city needs to attract investment, including in the development of the hotel business. These competitions have shown that our local Ski Jumping Federation and the Ski Jumping Federation of Russia can organize such great events and they need our support. The motto of the Russian tool is fly to your dream. It may have a lot of meanings, one of them is well revealed. Thanks to our friend, the charity foundation Diet Morozin. Our teams have very similar values, and so we understand that all these people who have appeared in your circle are also the people of our values, and we hope to find a common language with them. Visiting the competitions, the audience, the fans can work a miracle for a seriously ill child. They can make a donation by simply buying the official merchandise, buying a souvenir. It's nice and easy. It's great that we can make people accustomed to the fact that charity is nice and easy. The World Cup final is the tip of the iceberg. It is a legacy that is one of the main issues of modern sport. Host in the stages of the World Cup. World Championships is important from the perspective of the number of people engaging to sports, the growth in its popularity. In fact, when the athletes see the opportunity, see the podium and the medals, of course, this spurs the desire to exercise, to further develop their skills. It is particularly important to see the best of the best masters in your own favorite sport. I am sure that it is happening now in all schools, especially in Perm and Perm region, Nizhny Tagil. And there will be a huge boom in some five years. Children who will come into sports after the Russian tour Blue Bird. The struggle of the main award of the Russian tour continued until the final day. But Julian Seifer from Germany, who took the lead in the first days, did not want to retreat. And on the final day of the competition, she set a new record of 141 meters on the big hill. The Olympic and world champion Maron Ludby from Norway successfully defeated the overall World Cup title and got the Crystal Globe. Team Germany clearly won the Nations Cup. Julian Seifer from Germany won the overall of the first Bluebird Tour. It seems to me that the event was a success. First of all, the assessments made by foreign teams and FIS that for the first time the Women's World Cup was held at such a high level from all points of view, to say nothing of the readiness of the facilities. The most important thing is the organization, the charter flight, the transfer by a charter train from Nizhny Tagil to Perm, the brilliant cultural program. You know, the uh, Bluebird uh, competition and the tournament is uh, a huge importance for the, for the girls and uh, also for the ladies ski jumping uh, overall because it's, uh, we only have uh, the Royal tournament and uh, by adding the, the Bluebird now it's, uh, it's uh, something to look forward to at the end of the season. It's not a, just a regular World Cup uh, competition, it's uh, actually a tournament where things 
happen in uh, Russia. Of course, I also want to have the Bluebird uh, overall win. Yeah, but there were some strong competitors last winter, so I think I have to work really hard to to get to get there. But uh, I think it's possible. People write reviews on Booking.com about hotels, and if there were any reviews about the Blue Bird, I think that they would be five stars out of five, and everyone would say how awesome it was and how they liked everything, and the organization was great and everything was excellent. The bright event for the local children and adults will remain in their memory for a long time. And they are looking forward to what will happen next. So I think the future will be only better, more interesting and more exciting. Of course I hope it will become a tradition to hold the Bluebird Tour at the end of the season. Tradition is always the engine for sports. There is no other way.